down to around four or five in many places, but of course the main point of the forecast is still a stormy night ahead. Good evening. South Wales was tonight counting the cost as widespread flooding hit hundreds of homes and businesses. The torrential rain, some of the heaviest ever recorded, put roads and railway lines underwater and brought misery to thousands of people. Hardest hit appeared to be Gwent, where the town of Usk was cut off. Scores of roads too were under several feet of water. A woman motorist was rescued after her car plunged into a swollen river at Bryn Craig in Towin near Merionid earlier this evening. She was taken to hospital suffering from shock. But as rain started to abate, weathermen warned of severe gale force winds throughout the night. In North and Mid Wales, gusts of wind up to 80 miles an hour have been recorded. And in South Wales, council workmen at Aberdeer Park were cutting down 20 trees because they were swaying dangerously in the wind. And now on to other news. A brave 90-year-old prostatin pensioner spoke tonight of how calm she stayed whilst robbers searched her bed for money as she lay in it. Now police are hunting the raiders who stole cash, jewellery and valuables worth more than £1,200 from the home of retired nurse Beatrice Jones, the third time she's been burgled. Oh, they started rummaging amongst things I'd got in the bedroom. I'm upsetting everything and pulled the television down from where it was and, and the box that was it was on, you know, rummaging to see if there was money there. A series of low-flying sorties is planned for Mid Wales despite the death of a pilot in a jet crash yesterday. Defence Minister Lord Aaron has told Brecon and Radnor MP Richard Livesey the flights at less than 250 feet will take place up to seven hours a day later this month. Hundreds of tickets for the England versus Wales Rugby International have been stolen from the Gloucester office of former British Lion Mike Burton. The thieves who carried away the safe from the offices delivered a ransom note demanding £100,000 for its return. But Mr Burton says the tickets are only worth about £40,000 and he's not paying up. The Amoco Oil Company has been ordered to pay £1,700 in fines and costs after an escape of gas at its Milford Haven refinery resulted in youngsters being evacuated from a nearby school. And sport, you won't believe this, but we have one result tonight. In club rugby, Llanelli beats South Glamorgan Institute by 44 points to 6. And finally, a look at the weather. Things are looking a little better overnight, but there will still be gales in exposed areas with winds from the southwest. Tomorrow will be much less windy with only a fresh to strong westerly breeze. It'll be colder than today with temperatures only reaching 8 degrees Celsius. There'll be some showers and there are also further flood warnings for the Conway and Dovey rivers in North Wales. And finally, the outlook, cool and showery. And that's all from the newsroom tonight. Alan Rustled will be back at 5 to 10 tomorrow morning. A very good night to you. This man says he's been offered up to £10,000 not to appear in this week's Wales This Week programme. His story is part of a special investigation into the affairs of Eric Morgan, a Welsh businessman. We've traced his activities to the Channel Islands and Spain. It's a trail littered with victims who claim their lives have been ruined. That's Wales This Week with an expose of a businessman and his empire. back to this evening here on HTV Cymru Wales. In a few minutes, our movie premiere presentation is Murphy's Law, starring Charles Bronson. And now the sequel. Steve Heath continues into the 90s with Big Heath 5, Feed the Fever, 32 Hollis Club hits, Steve Heath 5 from Telstar. Spend time on shampoo and conditioner. Take two bottles into the shower. Not me. I just want to wash my hair and go. So I use Vidal Sassoon Wash and Go. Salon shampoo plus complete conditioner in one bottle. Vidal Sassoon Wash and Go leaves my hair clean, fully conditioned and looking terrific. Shampoo and conditioner? Not me. Now I just wash and go. Salon shampoo and complete conditioner in one. Vidal Sassoon Wash and Go. Key, madam, please. <laughs> Oh, very <laughs> Thank you.
And what? Oh, I'll show you. Fancy a nightcap, love? No. <laughs> Hello, darling. Sorry I'm late. Oh, there you are, <laughs> darling. <laughs> Thank you. But... My pleasure. Room 212, 7.30, T, Daily Mail. Good night. The Daily Mail. Good reading always shows. Hi, man. I'd like to tell my nephew Fred here about choices. Certainly. Choices. The pension you can take from job to job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But tell him how he can get government money to start one. Oh, yes. If he starts choices before April the 5th, he can get up to £1,350 in extra contributions over the next four years. Hear yeah, that? Over 1,300 smackers. Free. I might add that choices is very popular amongst the young because it's a pension whereby you can keep all your options open, whether you're fully employed, partly employed, or even taking time off. It keeps on working for you. So, Fred, what do you say? Well, he's convinced, all right. We'll take two. Dial 100 and ask for free phone choices pensions from Guardian Royal Exchange. There's a new spread from the makers of gold that hits an all-time low. It's called lowest. Lower in fat than any other low-fat spread. Lower in saturates than any sunflower margarine. New lowest from gold. Here! She saved 15 pounds booking at Lum Polly. Get away. Get away for less with Lum Polly. How long have we got? Two minutes, Angie. Right, you haven't even got time for now. Climbing back, Abel? Nah. I bet they do. Your best bet for a fuller flavour. Calling Black Label. On Saturday in Yellow Thread Street, Detective Eden lives dangerously when he goes undercover. Check it out, Jimmy. I want number four. Jimmy. You either take it or you leave it. And angels that go between. We need your help. You tell me what's happening. Find out in Yellow Thread Street, Saturday at 5 past 9 on HTV. Back to this evening. A quick reminder that HTV's nightclub gets underway at 20 past midnight with an episode of Garrison's Gorillas. But first, it's time for the movie premiere presentation, Murphy's Law, starring Charles Bronson. <laughs>